Hello, it's Donna Makita Bradley once again in part four of the Peace Spot Enrichment Workshop description. Um, again, I am explaining what Peace Spot Workshop is about. It's been around for about two years now, um, and we are now up to probably 820 bots. So, within the two years, there's probably been about eight plus workshops. I'm kind of losing count, there's a lot more. But this part of Peace Spot Workshop description is about the core standards that, you know, is often being addressed now in the schools. And I wanted to share, like, some of the design templates. Like, this is one of the design templates that the students made, where, you know, they create the idea of their Peace Spot. And then they actually go into what colors they're going to use, designs, meanings, every element of. Uh, art as far as aesthetics is involved in the design templates. Now interesting, if we look at the core standards, one of the core standards is 4.0, which is aesthetic valuing, which says responding to analyzing and making judgments about work in visual arts, students analyze and derive meaning from works of art, including their own according to the elements of art, the principles of design, and aesthetic qualities deriving meaning. So when you think about that as, you know, art today in the classroom, uh, why they would have to write an aesthetic about that when it's obvious that that's pretty much the way art should be taught. But sometimes I guess it's needed for those who really don't get the concept of making art. This one here is a uh, peace spot created by one of my students and a lot of times they will give the peace spot to me or there are situations where maybe the student has left the school and peace spots are left over. But I wanted to show you uh, basically the concept and the design of the peace spot, you know, using some of the core standards. We also have this little one here, and this one here was created using the elements of design of pattern. And as you see, they have pattern on the arms, the pattern of the body, the patterns in the hair. You know, we go through a lot of it. It's an abstract uh, composition and form. It's, it's, it's about uh, perspective, you know, and really analyzing a character. So like I said, again, Peace Spot addresses core standards through the written element of design, through uh, storytelling, through critical thinking, through analyzing, and even in critiquing. Because if we get to a certain point in the workshop, we will stop and we will discuss. Um, each student will come up and read their design template. You know, we have many design templates like this one. And we'll discuss with the other students, you know, their idea of their Peace Spot. So again, it's the community involvement of the creation, but also through that creation, we are creating unity and a community because sometimes within a classroom, you have disruptions, kids are, you know, not getting along for whatever reason. And when that happens, being in an environment like the Peace Spots, we can sit down and have the two students have dialogue and, and a resolution to their problems. And really, it really does help when you can bring a character into their life, which will always symbolize peace. Thanks again. And remember to visit us on Facebook, PeaceSpots.com. Thank you.